Look at the camera. Hello, folks. I am Dion, your host. And I'm your co-host, Jean. You, you are, are now on blast. blast. If, if we, we are now on blast, then you are now on blast, too. <laughs> All right. I, you know. No, we don't. I have... I have, a, I have some things I want to talk about. Okay. When it comes to the gym. Okay. The lockers are, are exceptionally close to one another. And at this particular gym, there's a bench and there's 99 lockers in front of it. Right. Okay. Then there's a big old walk space and there's another bench with 99 lockers in, in, in front of it. Okay. Now, I'm at the locker that lines up with the edge of the end of the bench. And then you got a locker that's right next to that one. This chick, come, she's just got out of the shower and I'm just coming in. So I'm, I'm in there and I'm putting my, my gym bag in the locker. Mm -hmm. She comes flying up. And then she, when she opens it, it's going to go this way. You all up on me. First you flying up on me. And then you want to open your shit so I can just feel the wind blow. Mm. Then when I said, <laughs> then you say, oh, excuse me. No. Uh, no. It's supposed to be excuse me first. Or, excuse me, uh, can I get in my locker? Then I would say, oh, okay, yeah, no problem. That's how that works. You don't say, excuse me, after you don't act like I was invisible. You know, that just didn't work for me. <laughs> I find that to be very prevalent, that some people tend to act like you're invisible. Instead of just, like you're saying, just coming out and saying excuse me or acknowledging that I'm there and then if you have a problem with me there or I'm in your way, just say something. Excuse me is a good way to start. But just to act like I'm not there. First of all, I was there first. We can we can get juvenile with it. I was I was here first. Thank you. So you don't know that you need to say excuse me if if I if you need to get where I'm at. That's how that works. You know, some people where I grew up, they got they got that natural reaction thing. That, Bow! That's you how know. that's how it works. And it reminds me of uh, when I'm at the um, <laughs> restaurant, and there's a place there at the restaurant where you can get you know you can get some uh, salsa and get some tartar sauce, right? So I'm standing right in front of it, getting a little thing to put in there. Same difference. Why did don't get out? Why did Sister Girl she come? Always at, hold on, hold on. Why did Sister she Girl... Like we had a personal conversation. So, no, 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 but think about that. Let me show you what she did. No, I'm here. she can't get up out of the camera. She stands here, and she reaches in front of me, and so I just... I'm actually on top of her like this. Can you back up, please? She's just... <laughs> now, that's it. not saying I'm invisible. What is? Didn't oh. say a word. Just stood in front of me and just... I got one better. Because this one, remember I called you on this one when I got in the car. I'm sitting on the edge of the bench, once again, right by the door of the steam room. This chick stayed in there too damn long. So she wants to fly out. I, I keep getting these flybys. <laughs> she flies out and she slams herself up against the wall on the other side of the door, way over there. Well. She's like, oh. And she's like on her knees, like breathing hard and not even dressed properly. She's in her workout stuff. Supposed okay. to be in a bathing suit. Uh huh. So I'm looking at her like, mm, she's in there too long, trying to trying to handle it, right? So because she was so worn out, she was still bent over like this, and she did a crawl walk over to where I was to sit on the other side of me and spin around. And since I was on my my elbows. Chilling, cause I was I, I was getting my breath. She spins around and her head, her ass hits my head, and then she sits down, plumps down. Wow. I said, "Whoa, you you all right? You got?" I said, um. <laughs> I said, "Excuse you, you got to watch that." <laughs> she said, "Excuse me." I said, "You hit me in my head with your ass. That's what you did." Yeah. You know what she told me? 
Okay, maybe you should sit up then. Oh. I says, no, maybe you need to watch where you're going because it's not going to always work out this way for you. That's what I told her at. <laughs> now, I don't oh. quite remember exactly what I said, how I said it, but it was along those lines. How? Wow. And I don't think you guys are ready for what I said. Mm -hmm. But it was stinky. Yeah. But I didn't cuss at her. It was one of the moments where I, I, I responded to it like I was at work. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, arguing with an asshole who took my lunch out the refrigerator and moved it somewhere else. Like I had a, I had a job where we kept our lunch in a cover. And this, we had a busybody. She wants to move and readjust things at home. I mean, in, in the cupboard. Uh -huh. But when it comes to folks' food, don't touch my food. Thank you. Don't touch my purse. Thank you. Don't touch my pen. Don't mm -hmm. touch my stuff. Yeah. So we was all looking for our lunch. Everybody who working our little crew was looking for their lunch. Where their lunch at? Alejandra. Mm -hmm. She was a, 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 a Russian chick. Older woman, too. Mm -hmm. She comes, she goes, well, what's the, the fuss? I said, somebody moved our lunch, took our lunch, stole our lunch. Oh, I didn't steal your lunch. I put it in the bottom drawer. I made room. Oh, everybody let her have it all. <laughs> I didn't even get to finish talking. I wasn't beating, I wasn't let her have it, but everybody just took off on her ass. <laughs> oh my God. I guess God. there's one like that in every workplace. We have one in mind. She oh. has to... Every, oh my God, this woman is crazy. We have mailbox slots. So whenever there's mail, she goes into everyone's mail slot and puts no. the mail in your office. On no, your no, yes, no, does. you go through my mail. She puts it in your office. You don't need to touch my mail Or my if slot. it's a fax on the fax machine, she if it's there for too long, she will throw it in the trash. Wow! Thank you. And in the in the That's the uh, refrigerator, ass. she takes if you if you have your food in a bag, she takes it out of the bag. You are kidding me. No. One day somebody we're coming, slap that one. One day we were coming in the lunchroom and my friend Beverly, and she was doing it in the midst of doing it, and she said, "What you doing?" Here? <laughs> gets on my nerves so bad. I, I remember putting a note on her. Don't touch my mail. I want to find my mail and my mail. I don't need you to come and put it in my office on the on the table. She's thumbing she? through your stuff. She just no she doesn't want to see anything in the mail slots. So she takes it. She's crazy off. paranoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That how come the supervisors didn't talk to her? This don't you tell me. Y'all ain't never complained to supervisors. And this woman gets every Friday off. Y'all ain't complained? I haven't complained to anybody. That's stupid. See, I would have complained. That's the, therein lies the problem. Punks, pushovers. She hasn't. Well, I don't know. I, I, I just got. Why did you go before. complain? I guess that's a good point. You could have complained anonymously if you didn't want to seem like you're a dumbass. But you're a dumbass for not complaining. But you want to complain here to the viewers. I'm just saying, this is something that she does. She hasn't really done anything to me lately because I don't really have a lot of mail coming in unless I pick it up. But she probably get her medication now. I don't know. She's just she's different. Gets there really early and she makes sure there's no mail in the slots. <laughs> that one the slots never look yeah, they're never full. If they are, 
She comes through there. She has a problem, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, don't touch my mail. Don't, don't. Yeah. Don't mess with my lunch. Thank that's you. stupid, isn't it? That's stupid. Taking it out of the bag. That's that right. that's too much. Mm-hmm. Well, my daughter is about to have a son. Oh yay, Grandma! You're gonna yes. be a grandma. <laughs> I'm gonna be a grandmother. Forty-seven young, young old grandmother. No, they're not gonna believe it. They're just too young. Looking. And here's the thing. Uh, whoo! Am I gonna, am I gonna be in, am I gonna be able to go into that uh, delivery room? Do I want to take that position? I don't think so. I think I'll pass out. I'll pass out. The thought of it is making me want to pass out. Really? Yes. Ah. <laughs> I love her. I love her! <laughs> and I don't want to see that happening. I don't want her not being able to handle the pain, the pressure. You, you'd be surprised what you can do mm. when you have to. So I think it might be different once you get there. Ah. The and thought of it. They have to cut his little pee pee. Oh. I might pass out. <laughs> Just the thought of that. I can't wait to see. Oh. It. She's she's got a good guy, nice nice young man, very respectful. So I wish them well, yeah. and uh, all I can do is pray and hope for the best. They're a young couple too. They're well, doing good. good. They got their own little apartment. Good for them. That's yeah. gonna be a beautiful thing. They got all kind of shit on the bathroom sink. I'm gonna have to go over there and organize and say no 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 no. There's cabinets. It's gonna help and, them grow up real quickly. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's just been another conversation, y'all. Peace and hair grease. OBTV. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are on YouTube. And on Blast TV Network is what you need to type in. Holla. Holla. <laughs>